and I welcome you here this morning uh, for a program on diversity and inclusion. And what I'd like to do is for us to have a conversation about diversity and inclusion. I wish that I could tell you that what I'm going to do for you today is have a silver bullet which sort of makes any kind of issues going forward with diversity and inclusion go away, but that's not the case. It's a complicated subject matter. It has a lot of nuances and a lot of issues. So what we're going to do today is sort of just start the conversation and um, hopefully I can give you some tips or pointers or actually even tools to sort of deal with the conversation as you go forward in, in the workplace. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I've been a lawyer for about 35 years. I was a trial lawyer. I was a um, bond lawyer. And then I worked for the government for a while. But at this point in my life, I realized that I've had enough experience with diversity and inclusion issues. And I think the subject is important enough that um, I've taken it on as a uh, sort of a, a charge to go and talk about the issue and to get people to start thinking about it in a somewhat different way, which I'll explain a little, little bit later as we go on. So what I'd like us to have is an authentic conversation. And when I say that, I mean I want you to think about what we talk about here today and uh, measure it from your own personal experience. How does that sound to me? Have I had this experience before? Does it irritate me? Do I like it? Um, what, is, what is your personal feeling about the topic that we're going to discuss, diversity and inclusion. And kind of by its nature, when you have an authentic conversation, it can be uncomfortable, right? Um, and it's automatically uncomfortable because when we talk about diversity, we're fundamentally saying there's me and there's you. There's a difference between us. That sort of starts you off or starts one off on a path that's a little uncomfortable. But as long as we understand that um, and know that that'll be part of what we're going through, um, it'll be more, more accessible, acceptable. Uncomfortable conversations often have missteps. You said it the wrong way. You didn't mean it that way. Uh, what do I call you? How do I address you? It can be sort of messy, but that's what I'm going to open us up to today so that we can have this authentic conversation and kind of trust that it can be a little tricky and a little messy. But that's OK, because again, that's just the nature of what this is. And again, it's very personal. It's me. It's you. And that sort of makes a distinction between us. It can't help but be personal. We're talking about being different from each other. And when you have a personal conversation, often you become vulnerable. I'm going to tell you information about myself and about my life, and it sort of opens me up to your impressions of me, and that makes me vulnerable. And hopefully you will tell some stories about yourself or your experience, and that can make you vulnerable too. Going back to the uncomfortable, but nature of the beast, part of what we're going to be doing. But I'd like to emphasize that we're all on the same team here. We're all trying to have the, having this, this dialogue. So we have the same goals, and we're all on the same team. So with that as our spirit, I think we can have a very um, thoughtful and helpful conversation. So this is my favorite quotes. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. So today, it's, again, it's not going to be about my lecturing you. It's going to be about a conversation, and we are going to do. We'll have certain exercises. We'll have goals, personal expressions. We'll do a vignette where um, most of you will play a part <laughs> in the vignette. Uh, we'll break into smaller groups and have a conversation about what the vignette means. And then we'll go into unconscious bias discussion. Uh, that's really in the news a lot lately, and it's a really important topic. I'll sort of talk about what unconscious bias is and give you some questions so you can take a look at your perspective on this, and then review some stories in the news, so how diversity and inclusion is really operating in our world 